This is a great story, actually. I really like this one. Kevin De Bruyne has employed the services of a data analytics company as part of the negotiations over his new four-year contract with Manchester City. So cut the agent out, didn't use one of those, agreed an £83 million deal and was advised by this Brussels-based legal firm. Um, De Bruyne, basically, what he did was he commissioned them, Analytics FC, to produce a report analysing the player's past, present and projected future performances and his importance to the team, which obviously is paramount really in that team, isn't it? Mm. Um, as well as benchmarking his salary against those of other world-leading attacking midfielders. Sounds like a really smart way to do business, doesn't it? Um, what lengths have you gone to? Have you ever done anything like this in, in the game of football? Have you ever cut an agent out? <laughs> <laughs> no, at my, le at my level, agent, you need your agent. They're worth their weight in gold. Um, at De Bruyne's level, you can do that because you're either only negotiating your, your own contract at your club or you're transferring to one of the best clubs in the world. And in that case, it sort of sorts itself out. Whereas at your, your average Premier League level, the agent's the one that needs to kind of go to each club and do you want this player? Are you interested? And so he has to do the running around. Whereas at the top level, you can do that because it all, like, like, like you see, it all kind of sorts itself out. You, you know what you should be earning. Um, you know, if Real Madrid want you, for example, they'll come to you, it'll be in the press, there'll be agents calling you non-stop. So I think at that level, you can do that and fair play to him. Not only he gets 300 grand a week, but he gets all the agency fees as well. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ali, have you got an agent? I've never, it's amazing. I've never had an agent, <laughs> you know, and there was, we start agents going about in our day as such, but I used to just negotiate my own. Because he's top tier, Andros, isn't he? He's top level, he's top tier, him and De Bruyne and players like that. He knows his importance. also runs, we have to... The last thing I would want to do would be get an analytical company involved in my stats, to be quite frank with you. I I used to just go and see the chairman, David Murray, and we'd we'd go for dinner and have a bottle of wine and and that was it, we'd chat. And that's what we did. And it was It was great. Um, and he used to, he always used to say he had three deals for me, right? <clears throat> and, I never, and I never get the top one. I used to get the middle one all the time. We'd, we'd start some, you know what it's like, Andros, you'd start somewhere, you'd yeah. meet in between. And uh, yeah. I, I quite enjoyed it, as I say. <laughs> and I, we used to go, as I say, a couple of bottles of wine, a bit of dinner, and, and it'd be all sorted, and that'd be it. So, no, Andros. No, no drama. Andros, you're out of contract at the end of the season, aren't you? So mm -hmm. are you thinking about me, yeah. sorry? Cheers. Are you thinking about taking Steve <laughs> Parish out, taking Ali's advice, take him out for a bottle of wine, have a little chat with him that way, <laughs> cut your agent out? Uh, unfortunately, these days you don't get anywhere near the chairman. There's always there's people <laughs> that he employs that gets in the way when you try to have that conversation. But yeah, and also I'm similar to Ali. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to go down that stats route. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to start employing those analytics to, 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 to back dangerous. me up and help my cause. It's dangerous, mate. It's a dangerous game. You'd end up having to try and bury it, wouldn't you? I'll forget yeah, about those exactly. numbers. <laughs>